Today on Whitlock Garage, we're selling the 93 Pace Truck. I know, it's sad, but it's gotta be done. Okay guys, I know it's really windy out here, so you can probably hear some of that, but most of you have not seen my pace truck before. It is definitely just a driver, but I'm gonna go get it cleaned up. Yes, I'm gonna take it through the car wash because it's just so dirty and it's pretty cold out here. I think it's supposed to be in the 20s tonight. Anyway. We're gonna go get it cleaned up, and yes, I've got a buyer coming for it today. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, you may actually see him later. See so y'all hang tight. Okay, guys, truck hasn't been fired in a couple of days, and yep, the battery's dead. All right, well, you know what we're doing next. Jumping this bad boy off. First things first, I gotta move my wife's pilot out of the way. And then we're gonna jump this bad boy off. Okay, first things first. We're gonna pull off the black truck, the new Also, I think it's snowing, but a little bit more about this motor. While we're getting all this set up, is it's a 350 TBI motor with about 110, probably thousand miles on it. Along with a bunch of bolt-ons, like throttle body spacer, headers, um, a chip for the computer, quite a few other things actually. Um, bigger plug wires and potter plugs. You know the, the basic the basic bolt on stuff so basically the truck will run like a scalded dog as I mentioned it's got a bunch of bolt-ons throttle body spacer um, Edelbrock intake manifold he put some chrome valve covers on it but they're a little little grungy it's got some headers on it I believe they're all Edelbrock actually and dual exhaust high flow cats it's a pretty cool truck um, it'll flat out fly and it's a lot of fun to drive, but as you can see today, the battery's run down. So anyway, we're gonna take it to uh, get it cleaned up so that our friend can enjoy it, and hopefully he will. I think he'll actually bring it back to life. As you can see, this thing has got the dreaded dash all busted up. It's pretty clean as far, I mean, it's actually dirty right now, but seats are clean, needs a headliner, but uh, we're gonna go get it cleaned up a little bit and try to get it where my buddy can enjoy it. Let's see if we can get any juice out of this right now. Oh yeah. Just needed a little, little assistance from a battery perspective. So, it's got a sweet little exhaust on it, and man, I know this thing is just so dirty. Some of the graphics are missing on the tailgate, as you can see, but they make most of this stuff um, to replace it, so hopefully my buddy will consider doing that. Put a new alternator on it recently, 
and uh, goes out of the way. I think it just honestly just needs a new battery. But we're gonna get this thing to the car wash, start getting it cleaned up. By the way, we call this truck Indy. 93 pace truck, short bed. I think they only made about 1,534 of these in 93. Pretty cool truck. All right guys, here we are at the car wash depot. Can't beat that. Somebody's in here uh, getting their car washed. It's about 20, actually I think it's probably not quite in the 20s yet, but it's still cold enough. And uh, this thing just needs a quick wash off. I think my buddy who is potentially purchasing it will be doing a lot of restoration to the paint. So I'm not doing it too much damage. <laughs> it's already been done. Hopefully he can bring it back. Anyway, y'all stay tuned, we'll show you what we're working with. All right guys, here we go. Go hold it right here. Oh, apparently I went too far. We're gonna bag it up. So instead of sitting here showing you all this, it looks like my SD card is about to uh, get down to a very few minutes here. We'll catch back up with you in just a minute. When your truck's set for a couple of days, you got leaves in the back. And it was so cold that it was frozen. But apparently this water is pretty warm. So it's washing all the leaves out of the back of my truck onto my truck. Gotta love that. We're out of the car wash. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up vacuum it out at least just straighten it up a little bit but first we should probably look around at all the grossness in this truck uh, it's actually not that bad but I do uh, really just drive this truck I mean it, it was actually my daily driver for a year like I got some old fast food wrappers some napkins um, here's an old hot rod power tour actually not too old I mean it's from last year Hot Rod Power Tour bag, some bandana, obviously there's the DSLR that's running out of memory on the SD card. There's a football. It's my son's football. Here's some sort of receipt probably. Yep, where I went to the dump. Old bottle of Smart Water. Release, because I'm a bow hunter. Koozie from the Tribe Kelly Surf Post. Some keys to the truck farm. Glasses, those are probably my wife's glasses. There's a Grundy application. I went with Haggerty. Oh, this is cool. This is a 67 and 68 only GMC emblem for a C10 glove box door. These things are really hard to find. This one has a broken stud, but I'm gonna make it work on my blue 68 GMC original paint truck that you have probably not seen yet. There's some sort of McDonald's coupon. My wallet. Looks like a parking ticket and uh, some other stuff. So yeah, there's some wool socks, keep your feet warm, bottle of water. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing cleaned out. Oh, almost forgot. Um, one cool thing about this truck is that it was actually owned. Sorry for all the camera, crazy camera movement there. 
This thing was actually owned um, and a lot of the performance work was done by Chuck Hansen of Horsepower TV. So if you're into that sort of thing, I got all the documentation from him owning the truck. Pretty cool little pedigree uh, for the truck, I believe. You know, nothing too crazy. I don't think it increases the value, but it's just kind of a unique story about the truck. So shout out to Chuck. He's good friends with John at the truck farm. And uh, this truck made it to me via Chuck, or excuse me, via John from Chuck. And uh, really glad to have been an owner of it. Hopefully, like I said, my buddy is gonna be, uh, gonna be taking ownership of it today and taking it and making it an even better truck. So anyway, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up on the inside, get it vacuumed out. Y'all stay tuned, we'll show you a little bit more of the Indy Pace truck cleanup and maybe even some footage from the cell. Napkins, old receipts, it's the Chuck documentation, we'll keep that. Wow, here's an old bill of cell for a couple of a K10 and a C10. I'll take that. Keep the koozie. Obviously keep the archery thing. Throw out this bottle of water. No idea what this other stuff is. C10 350 emblem. Throwing the football in the back. got the seat cleaned up we got uh all the keeping stuff in that bag the dslr that's dead i got some change here we're gonna get all this vacuumed out but the real gauntlet is here behind this seat so we're gonna take a look at some of this it's like i've got some biltech shocks for this truck back here didn't even realize it now i've got the other wiper arm yep i've been driving this truck with only one wiper arm so there's that. It's amazing what uh, what you don't need. Actually, I think this is some sort of decal for this truck. So we're definitely keeping that. There's an old back brace of John's. He didn't even wear these anymore. So that's going. And we're gonna we're gonna just get started on cleaning this thing out. So the truck is still really dirty, but we got a lot of it knocked off. So let's see what we've got on this side. Some sort of old wind visor thing. Like I said, here's some Beltec drop shocks for this truck. Those will be in hand, come in handy for, for clay. Looks like we've got some ratchet straps. Can't ever have too many of those. And what else? We've got a trash bag. Carburetor cleaner, who knows how old that is. Looks like somebody was asking six grand for this truck at one time. That's actually worth having right there. It's got some more information on it we'll hold on to that for sure apparently at some point somebody thought this was a 95 definitely not it's a 93 because that's the year they made these trucks just one last piece of paper and then we're gonna vacuum it out and get it moving Let's see, some sort of pressure connect fittings. We'll leave those back there. We'll take this. Oh, wow, looks like there's more stuff under the seat. Surprise, surprise. There's an old radio under here. Yeah, that's getting trashed. Can't beat it when you find an old Pioneer. An old Rolling Stones cassette. Can't beat that. Let's see if they're actually in here. Wow, one of them is. We'll definitely hold on to that. 
excuse my sniffling as I mentioned it's really cold we're gonna get started vacuuming this thing out I'm not gonna show you all that but hang tight and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done it's happening Andy's going to a new home to get some new love she saw we got him cleaned up a little bit but this is nothing compared to what our buddy Clay is going to be doing. Um, you'll probably know Clay, Clay Marlowe. He runs uh, C10 Squared. This is That's him here. <laughs> He's going to be uh, going to be taking over Indy, giving us some love. And um, if, you, if you are on Instagram and know anything about social media, Clay is, is one of those guys who is uh, really doing a lot for the truck scene, really putting a lot of uh, hard work into into these C10s, particularly square bodies. He's C10 squared on Instagram, so go check him out there if you're not already following him. Chances are you love some OBSs too. Now that's right, love some OBSs. He also has C10 outposts and some other Instagram handles where he'll be uh, highlighting a lot of his OB OBS stuff too. But um, we appreciate Clay, appreciate you uh, taking Indy off my hands and, and being able to do something do something cool with the truck. Go shine her up. Yeah, it needs a. It needs a little love, and I know you're the right guy to do it. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for us uh, with Indy. We'll keep you updated on Clay's progress with the truck as he moves forward. Indy's leaving the driveway, going to some good hands. See you, buddy. All right, guys, super windy and cold out here, so I'm going to keep it short. But just want to say uh, appreciate Clay, C10 Squared taking Indy off my hands he's gonna make that a great truck but if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so we got all sorts of GM truck content coming your way not just 6772 C10 stuff but we'll have some square body stuff coming your way some more OBS stuff some late model stuff but appreciate you tuning in today if you haven't subscribed to the channel please be sure to do so hit that like button there below the screen and uh, leave us a comment let us know what you think about us selling Indy today kind of a sad day but I'm happy for his new owner and uh, I know that truck will be getting some love and you'll see some new updates to it probably on this channel so thanks for tuning in have a good day hit the like button